Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, my name is Michael Shu, and welcome. Today I'll be reviewing a product that I've unboxed many, many months ago, the Century by Forfly. If you guys have not seen that unboxing video, I highly recommend going back and watching that video. You can see it right above here. I'll put the play card over there. Go ahead and check that video out. And before we dive right into this review, if you guys aren't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys went down and smashed the subscribe button, don't forget to leave a like and write a comment. Let me know what product I should review next. Let's go ahead and talk about all the things you get as soon as you unbox the Sentry by Farflight. You get this wonderful case, which I absolutely love. It's much bigger than the Sentry itself, which means you can put a lot more other stuff in here. But when you open it, these are the things that come with it. Can you see it? So it comes with this wonderful case. It comes with a charging cable to charge your Sentry comes with a window mount that you're able to mount your Sentry onto the window. Doesn't matter which side you mount it on, the left side or the right side. Very nice, handy window mount that never comes undone. That's something I really appreciate about this window mount. It doesn't come undone. I've tried to mount GoPros with GoPro mounts on windows of airplanes and stuff. It just falls every 10, 20 minutes. It's very frustrating and annoying. However, this window mount works really well. You put it on the window, you twist it, and it doesn't come undone. I've been using this mount for a couple months, and I've been using it on flights for over three hours and stuff, and never comes undone, so great mount. Last but not least, we have the actual Sentry itself. Sentry is not big at all, very nice and small, compact of a size, so very easy to transport and put in your flight bag. So these are the things that come with, and you still have this wonderful case where I usually put my keys and other pen, pencils, charging cables that I have in here, and it's nice to carry everything in and put it in your flight bag. So how do you use this Sentry? So if you look on the Sentry, it only has one button, which is the on switch. So all you have to do is push it, hold it down until the lights come on, and it links automatically with Bluetooth to your iPad. You need four flight in order to use the Sentry. Very simple to use, very user friendly. Let's talk about some of the feature. This Sentry, this small little device, has a GPS and WASP which makes it very convenient, all right? A lot of times if you go rent planes and you're not familiar with the avionics, if you're training in G1000s but you rent a plane and it has steam gauges, you don't know how to read all that, you must have a Sentry. The Sentry has quickly become an essential part of my flight bag and I need the Sentry on every flight because it is very useful. The WAS and the GPS in the Sentry is very accurate. Even though you are not legally to use the Sentry to shoot approaches, if I was an IMC and my, I had an avionics failure, I would shoot an approach with this because it is that accurate. It also has an AHARS, which stands for an attitude heading reference system. So it gives your airspeed, altitude, and it also have, like I said, ADS-B, which you can see traffic. Especially if you're renting old planes that doesn't show other traffic, this is definitely something that you gotta have to see all the traffic that you're flying by, especially when I'm flying in California. We have a ton of traffic, so having something like this to show me where the traffic exactly is, is very helpful. And all the information that I get from the AHARS from the Sentry is very accurate. I got some in-flight shots showing you how the numbers of the Sentry compare to the actual airplane. And let me tell you, they are very, very close. Here are some in-flight clips. All right guys, so right now we are in the airplane testing out our Sentry. And so far, all the information that the Sentry gives us to our iPad is very accurate. This basically turns your forward flight into a glass cockpit. So if you can see, it gives us our airspeed indicator, our altimeter, our altitude, our attitude, and it even gives us our heading with our flight plan, so it tells you go direct and what heading to go to. It's telling us it's going at 142 Traffic. ground speed. Low, less than one mile. Got that traffic. Negative contact, but one thousand below, below and he's on the coast around as well. Looking for traffic. As you can see on the sentry, as it displays for us on our iPad, it says our ground speed is 141. And we look on the airplane, GPS, look at that airspeed. Spot on, 141. And right now, as you can see, we're going from Ogeki to LAX. It says it's going to take 4 minutes and 7 seconds. And that is exactly what our iPad is telling us with, from the Sentry. And as you can see, our, our altimeter, it's 
giving us a reading of around 6,500, a little above 6,500. You can see right here, it's a little bit 6,440. So it's very accurate within 75 feet of elevation. So, so far, the information that the Sentry gives us is very accurate to what the airplane is displaying for us. Not only that, it also tells us the traffic information, so it tells us higher or lower, and how far out. And what's really nice is that you can connect, if your headset has Bluetooth, which you can connect to the iPad, the iPad will tell you how far out the traffic is, and you can hear it on your headset. So all these functions with the Sentry is really useful. Right now, if you look out the window, you can see LAX, look at that. Another feature that I love about this Sentry is that it has 12 hour battery life, all right? So it doesn't matter how long a flight you're gonna go on, it's probably gonna last through the whole flight. And it's really easy to charge, it has a USB-C charging port and it comes with USB-C charging cable, so you're able to charge it and if your airplane has a charging port, you can charge it while flying, which means you'll never run out of battery while you fly. Just having that 12 hours of useful battery life is more than I have for any of the flights I have personally been on. So I really love that long battery life. All right, so that's gonna pretty much sum up my review of the Sentry by ForeFlight. This is not an ad for ForeFlight at all, even though I've talked about how great the Sentry is. So that's gonna be my review of the Sentry. Overall, I absolutely love it. And no, this is not a advertisement for ForeFlight, but ForeFlight, if you're watching and you wanna sponsor me, we could definitely work something out. This is my genuine, honest review of the Sentry, and I think it's an essential device that every pilot need in their flight bag, especially when you're renting planes. You don't know the exact equipment every plane you're gonna be flying. Standard device that you know how to use regardless of which plane you're flying. I especially love the Ahars and the Wasp in this. Like I said, it turns any airplane, doesn't matter if it's steam gauges or 550 or whatever avionics you have, it turns every airplane into a glass cockpit. It shows all the information you need on your iPad, especially with the traffic. You're able to zoom in and out of the maps to show you exactly where the traffic is. So this is something that definitely enhances your situational awareness gives you weather information as well, and overall increases your safety. So any product that increases your safety in aviation, I have to recommend. And this product right here is something I highly recommend to each pilot out there. That's gonna be it for this review. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, like I said, and leave a comment. I love reading all the comments. If you guys already have a Sentry, let me know your experience in using it. There are definitely a lot of other features I haven't talked about, like the CO2 monitoring system, the weather information, but the main ones that I really do love are the AHARS, the GPS, the WASP, the ADSB to show traffic. But until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.